in the week off, weekend off did, huh? Yeah. Ah. 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 weekend uh, as you can see a little bit wet if you guys enjoyed that, uh, that little trailer I think this weekend's gonna be awesome obviously almost an inch of rain so it's gonna be it's gonna get pretty gnarly very excited though d6 always it's different don't know why just the adrenaline's pumping already I can't wait to get there uh, yeah hope you enjoy like and subscribe if you enjoy and we'll see you at the track where are we at? Scott Power Sports. Oh uh, yeah. And a yeah. Coopersburg PA. Come pull up. Ooh, are you sponsored? I am. Oh yeah. man. We arrived. It's cold. It's like spongy. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Hour and a half later. Finally made it. I'm ready. I'm cold. It's gonna be mud, fun, and brap. Oh damn. <laughs> The battle! Race of the day, only two races today because of the rain. Uh, yeah, it's very cold. My hands are frozen, but here we go. We got row two going. Track mint. Track is absolute mint right now. Keith, what about you? Track mint. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Who we got coming now, huh? 65 liter? No idea. <laughs> got 65 liter. Yeah, that kid. The man, the myth, the legend. Track is mint. 
Track is tight. Terrible new stuff they added in. Normally tight is good, but not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get him, Tommy. Get him. Get his ass. Get him. <laughs> Yo, watch out, bro. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, we missed the jump. <laughs> Tyler Dobb at a, at a D6 race? Oh, what is this? Want to be in the vlog again? Yeah. To the right hand side of those whoops right there. Saturday night dinner. Oh, yeah. Got super crow. Yeah. Did you do a good job, Duncan. Thank you. Bungie. Brent's racing his husky, Dad. I saw that. Who's here? Me. Brent, Brent. You want to say hi? What? <laughs> Is it race day? Yeah. What time you race at? 8.30. How cold is it? Like 25 degrees. <laughs> We're gonna sign up Sunday morning. Uh, freezing out. What's the high is like 40 today? Something like that? Yeah. Pretty bad. Jacob's still asleep. And Brent was surprisingly up early. 6 a.m. <laughs> We're gonna sign up now. And yeah, there's like nobody here. I'm going finally let him go. Youth overall winner, huh? Good morning. <laughs> Breakfast, right? Hot chocolate too. That's hot. Thank you. Oh. Saturday mo or Sunday morning, sorry. Uh, 8.30 in the morning. Youth is about to go off soon. It's still cold. It's getting warmer since coming out. It'll be a good day though. Youth track is all frozen solid and ice, so it'll be a little sketchy for them, but yeah, it should be a blast. Last night doing super cold. We're gonna win? Hey yeah. We're gonna win, right? Yeah. Yeah. Stiff competition gonna, right here, right? We're gonna get lost in Pottsville, PA at 8.30 in the morning with Brent Myers back here. And then I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a be like Philly and pull up on the street for you two. <laughs> got, you gotta pop the wheelies. Change your skin color a little. <laughs> a little frozen. Who's crashing first? Dom's crashing first, right? This is, this track is racism. It's perfect. Why, why isn't it white? Why is it gotta be brown? <laughs> <laughs> it's tacky, right? <laughs> Jump in the big puddle, Dom.
one. <laughs> it is so frozen, it's terrible. <laughs> Youth one leader coming through. Dominic Griffith, hopefully. Is it all frozen? It's all frozen. This is the worst track I've ever seen. This track is dark. <laughs> it's just... Dominic Griffith. Dominic? Oh, who's behind him? Very close. Jade Maynard. Let's go, buddy. They're so fucking close. <laughs> Brent P1, P3 overall. They're right there! We halfway through the race, huh? Yeah. Who's out front? Dom? Dominic Griffith. Looks and like he. Brent Myers in second. I don't see Brent though. Yeah, I don't know who's in third. I think it's going to be Enzo Zachariah. We'll see when they come through. Brent's getting gapped though. Yes. Zach, your brother's getting gapped. Really? Yeah, he's, he's nowhere close to Dom now. Oh, Brent Myers, P1, right? Second overall. You, go me. No, I don't want to. How'd you do today, huh? Second. Second overall? Yeah, second overall. And what? What in class? P1 in class? How was the track? Garbage. Did you get lost? Yeah, I, actually, I took a wrong turn. So it was your fault? Yeah. Or is it the track well, there was no ribbon, so I could... Ah, so it's Dwayne's fault. Free <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> race? Oh, man. We're going to win now, right? Yeah. What do you do? Make sure you have a water in your pocket in case I see... Yeah, keep that in there. Oh, what if I want it? Well, make sure it's at least half for me. Oh, you, you don't want that? Everybody has to have a water in case I see somebody. I just gave him a million! I'll be so thirsty! Sorry. <laughs> Look at this guy! Oh shit! Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready to go! Be one! Be one! Oh shit! Bungie! 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 Who's about to race? I'm about to race. C is C class up now? I'm up. Who's winning? Who's winning? You, uh, you're winning? I think if I could walk, I'd probably win. Low key, uh, I got, I got, I got Billy Myers. I got my money on Mr. Myers. Mr. Myers? <laughs> Mr. Myers or JT? Myers gonna bark today. All three of them. <laughs> I got Carnage already! Oh my god, it's gonna get bad! It's so bad! Oh! Oh, barking! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh my Oh, what the 
hell? Brent! Brent! Our vlog's gonna be better than Jacob's. Oh, it is? Yeah, it is. Okay. Trust me. <laughs> Alright, Evan's vlog. We got Raymond Gretowens coming through. We got, uh, we should have Evan coming through soon. But he got like third off the start and. I'm gonna go up here and point him to this side so he doesn't die in this hole. It's Caleb Hoffman. That means Evan should be coming through any time. Come on, Evan. Let's go. I think he's second place. Let's go! Right here, right here, right here! Oh my god, Evan goes down! Outside the top five, he lost goggles, so looks like he's needing goggles. This is not good, unfortunate for Evan. We got Evan Moore coming through, I'm pretty sure he's in sixth. Let's go, sixth place. Let's go. Oh boy, Evan's struggling, but it looks like he got goggles from his dad. This guy just mowed over a tree, good footage for your vlog, Evan. But if I had to say something to you. I'd say it's not arm pump, and you just gotta push harder. Evan's coming through now. I'm gonna ask him if he wants pickle juice. Evan! Outside, outside! Bro did not see me with pickle juice, but it's okay. He made it up the hill. Still running sixth, I think, for B250. 
So overall, pretty good. We got Kyle Grenowitz coming through. Bad line from him. Almost loops it out. Holy jeez. And he's stuck. Oh, no. Now's where the bottlenecks start. There we go. Outside. Holy, there's carnage going on for Evan Moyer's vlog. Not shy of a spark, the knife twists up the thought that I should fall short of the mark. Frightened by the fight, though it's no harsher than the bark. The middle of adventure is such a perfect place to start. Even though we both know we're liars and we start each other's fires, we just know that we'll be alright. Even though we kicked out the party, cause we both hate everybody, we're the ones they wanna be like. So don't. All right, <clears throat> hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, trailer that uh, the GoPro app made for me. Kind of edited a bit, but uh, we're here at uh, Big Diamond, round one of D6. Uh, we're gonna try this commentate anymore. Hope you guys like it. Um, but yeah, we're getting ready to go here, B250. We had uh, about 20 guys in our class, I think. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna talk over as it goes. As you can see, got off to a third place start here. Right here, there's a little mud hole right there. Man, right off the start there, I about fell on that. Barely made it around, but uh, that would not have been a good way to start my day, let me tell you that. Uh, I think we ended up doing, I think I did six laps. I got lapped. Um, I was the last person in my class on the lap. First lap here, um, just, just trying to just trying to ride loose. Um, I've been struggling with arm pump a lot, coming from the beginning of the race, just the intensity's high. Right now, just trying to settle in with a good pace, stay with the front two guys, and just flow. I just really didn't want to get arm pump, and I feel like I did a really good job of that. Kind of fell off the pace of the leaders a bit, but then caught back up. But I uh, didn't struggle with arm pump first lap, though, and I was really happy about that. I, I felt like I rode really good. I uh, just got just got to put together the two hours now. Um, so my first two hour race at D6. So overall, I mean, it went it went decent. 
I mean, a lot to improve on from here though. So it's a start. Coming up here, making a pass on this guy. Appreciate him letting me go for this tight stuff. As you guys saw from earlier in the video, it was carnage here for C-Class. It got a little dug out. There was definitely a lot of stumps there. Uh, just a little tight section, nothing big. The lady in the race, when, when I started getting arm pump, I, I, I got arm pump here and there in spots. Um, just didn't ride great. The arm pump came a lot in this section though, just because of how tight it was and how long it was. So the next section here, um, a lot of off-camber routes that were very slick. Uh, right now, uh, we're catching the front two again. Um, I rode good, like I said, this lap, but I was holding back a little bit, just just trying to not use the clutch as much because I get arm pump really bad in my clutch ham, and I can't pull in the clutch. I gotta start doing no clutch motors too because this happens so frequently, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're catching some lappers here, which luckily slowing the front two down. Um, but as I start getting around them, I start catching back up. But again, just holding back a little bit, just trying to keep the front two in sight. up here coming in this section uh we walked the track ahead of time and i found this little line right here it's definitely better but this guy thought i was gonna follow the line try and take the inside there but uh yeah li little contact nothing big uh def it was just a racer's incident uh neither of us tried to hit each other but both of us were all good made a pass on this guy before this little tight stuff here Th this section flowed decent um later in the race started getting you know rough and then just kickers and but this section here uh, a lot of long straightaways uh, got some holes but man this section was fun you could get on it and you could just fly down the straightaway uh, my buddy Justin he was sitting on the side of the track here not this lap but like lap three or something he sat there for a while didn't seem like D6 had any sweepers out there helping but really remember a lot of these tracks last year I remember there's a line here a nice hot line but they blocked it off some air uh, some trees there but uh, coming up here we got you know some some more of the wet stuff uh, there's a couple straightaways kind of like hall roady ish you'll see those were I I took it very easy on those I was not trying to crash on those they were sketchy and I was just not confident on them Almost a little bottleneck here. This guy gets about stuck. Just hopped over the route, luckily. Got by that pretty easy. But back here is a little more wet. Um, everywhere else was fairly dry, except you'll see later in the lap. It, get, it got pretty gnarly over there. 
But for the amount of rain we got, I felt like the track held up pretty well. Not sure if uh, water or mud got on the speaker on the GoPro, but uh, at spots around this section, just this lap, I had some, some audio issues. It seemed like it was cutting in and out. Not sure what it was. Could have been the wind, possibly. I didn't think it was that windy, but uh, for our race, it was it was cold. Um, I felt like most of the race, my clutch fingers were like frozen. Could barely feel those. Got up to maybe 40. It wasn't terrible. Some was out, but uh, it it stayed windy too. The wind was not helping at all. But I mean, at least it wasn't rainy or miserable uh last year here we had we had snow last year when the main started it started snowing out of nowhere uh so I, i'm really happy i didn't do that this year Uh, down here, this this was the best part of the track. I felt like it's whooped out, but I mean, it was it was you know you could hop it. It was a lot of fun. It reminded me a lot of the Silt Basin place I usually ride and train at. It was getting ruddy just like there. Whoops, perfect example. So this section I felt really good. Uh, started getting a little choppy in that one section, but other than that, this section was honestly probably the best out of the whole track. In here, this section got wet. These little water holes right here, they got pretty deep at the end. Ended up soaking myself a couple times. But uh, a little hung up here, uh, Evan Purcell, he's in second. Got a little hung up behind that lapper. Thought I made the pass on the outside here. They came right back down here. You can see after almost making that pass, Evan Purcell, he uh, started feeling the heat, I think. You can hear him, he holds the limiter up here, trying to get around the lap as fast as he could. Just keep holding me off. Uh, at this point, Caleb Hoffman started getting away. He was in first, but we're, me, and, me and Evan are just trying to go. We're trying to stay with them. what happened here but uh Evan lets me go don't know if he was pumping up or anything uh, or maybe he just wanted to flow with me follow me um but yeah I made the pass here in the second now we're gonna try and charge and catch first
As you guys saw from earlier in the video, I'll just let the video play for itself and the emotions got the best of me a little bit. My buddy Jacob definitely saved the day here though, big time. So as you can see, can't not you can't really see, but uh, coming down that hill, it's a little steep. Came in a little hot, but uh, there's a giant hole in the middle. Uh, yeah, just hit it, couldn't save it, but uh, got up going. Hopped in behind my buddy Dom right here. A little bottleneck right here, but uh, we got through the, this section got pretty bad towards the end. You can see to the left there, there's a guy buried. But uh, I made a pass on Dom coming up here, but the GoPro got, gets covered right about here. If you listen closely here, you can really hear the audio. I don't know what was going on, but Hopefully we'll get it fixed for next race. So right here, uh, definitely the gnarliest spot on the track. Couple little little creek crossing here. I had a good line though on this outside, but uh, man, it got it got pretty deep at spots. Got just a bit hung up there. Uh, arm pumps start to come in this section too. Right up here, started taking a really far outside line. Uh, but this this got this got pretty bad. If you didn't have enough momentum, your back wheel was just spinning here. There's no traction at all. But uh, made it up through there. Uh, down here, you're gonna see run into another little incident. So here, I tried to hop out of the rut, uh, slid out a little bit. Uh, Noah, Noah Kershack gets by me. Come to this hill, this vine here. This vine ended up getting wrapped around my neck and pulling me back. It was all wrapped around my bike. Tried getting it off there. Got some of it off. Coming up here, another rutted spot. But this thing was like stuck around my neck, like choking me out. Finally, I get up, get up to the straightaway here after messing around a bit. Finally get it off here. And then uh, right there, you can see Dom's wheel on the left. I knew I, knew I needed to hold him off. That little incident lost me some time, but still in front of Dom here. Uh, still charging. Coming towards the end of the lap, though, here. Coming in through scoring here, this is a lap around the 2024 D6 Big Diamond opening round. Um, gonna throw in a clip here of my pit stop, but that's it for this video pretty much. Oh, this track is so bad. It's like not even funny. Weekend recap, um, 
race didn't go as planned, obviously. Uh, same thing happened last year. Bad first round. We recovered from that. Brought out a win second round. So, uh, got a good start. Top three start. Um, and just rode really good first lap, I felt like. Had that little crash. Hit, just trying to hole there. And uh, from there on, got up. Got moving a bit. And then slowly arm pump came into play. And then just don't know what got into me. Just didn't ride didn't ride great, but uh, everybody says championships are won on your bad days, so this was one of them. I uh, learned a lot, uh, still getting used to these B races and how rough they are, but uh, ready to regroup for uh, Tennessee, Tennessee GNCC in uh, two weeks. No, no, I lied. Evansville, then GNCC. We'll see if we want to do another vlog at uh, Evansville, depending on how good this one does, depending if people like it, but... Uh, yeah, if you liked it, like and subscribe, please. Helps a lot. Um, and yeah, we'll see you at the next one. Peace.